Okay, here with uh, Clay McKinney. Um, you know, what's your impressions of, of this event here with USA? I know you've kind of participated in these in the past, uh, but what are some of your takeaways from this weekend so far? Um, um, I would just say, um, especially coming off a gold medal with USA this summer, um, I feel like coming in, just trying to be a vocal leader for young guys and trying to bring in intensity on both ends. Um, I feel like that's that's where I, I'm going to make my bread and butter, um, bring in intensity on both ends. So I think it's good for me to come back and be a part of USA basketball. Yeah, you know, what was that experience like winning a gold medal? I mean, it was good just to play with other great players and, you know, go, go um, around the country, go to South America and just see what it's like, um, see how other players play around the world. Um, I feel like that was a great experience for me. Yeah, how would you kind of like compare the international game to, you know, the game here in the States? Um, I would say um, it, it's definitely, I think it's more, it's more physical definitely in the FIBA. Um, you have to definitely get used to it. Um, refs aren't going to make calls. You got to play through it. So I think it's definitely more physical playing the FIBA game. Um, I think through the past years I've grown on defensive end, um, just bringing intensity, picking up, uh, sometimes picking up full court. Um, I think just me being vocal and my presence just being there, um, I think that's what I bring. Um, you know, like we were talking off camera, it's been a minute since we last connected with you at Pro Insight. You know, how do you feel like your game has really uh, gone to the next level these past uh, like 12 months? I mean, um, I feel like I've been all, always been able to score the ball um, from all levels. Um, but I think just me being able to bring the intensity on the defensive end and um, improve my on-ball skills, um, especially being an off-guard, just improve my on-ball skills and bring the intensity on the defensive end. Um, yeah. Um, what do you feel like that kind of clicked for you, that emphasis on a defense? You know? I think um, really... I think it was last year at the MVPA camp, just um, paying attention to the defensive end because I know that I'm a scorer, but most scorers, you know, most scorers I can score at any level. Some of them just don't pay attention and some of them don't bring intensity on the defensive end. So I think that's going to be a separator for me, um, a separator for me at the next level and more levels to come. Any uh, like NBA players, uh, either past or present, that you kind of studied uh, defensively? Um, not really defensively, but um, I think I think Devin Booker does a good job on defense. Um, I watch um, a couple clips of Kobe Bryant shading the ball on the ball screen and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I've been more intrigued to um, be better on the defensive end. So yeah, for sure. Um, you know, getting into your recruitment, you cut your list down to three. Um, just talk about like any uh, timelines and, and visits you've taken and stuff like that. Um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to commit somewhere early November next month. So I think I'm going to get it out the way in November. Yeah, like ideally, what do you want out of your, you know, a school of choice? Um, you know, I want to develop as a person and on the court. Um, I want to have a relationship with the coach. I want to be the coach's guy. Um, I want to be able to um, have a role where I can make mistakes and still have a um, leash to play in the game, you know. Um, yeah, I definitely want to be able to make mistakes and have a big role as a freshman. I think that's a part of where I'm going to go. Yeah. Any? Uh, do you feel like there's a certain like style, offensive style, defensive style that kind of fits uh, your game? Um, I think just really um, playing positional ball because I think my versatility, um, versatility. Um, I think I can guard one through four. Um, I can switch a lot and I can play all positions. Um, on the offensive floor, so I think just versatility, I think versatility, I think that um, that's a really big part of my game. Gotcha. Um, getting to know you a little bit like off the court, like uh, any hobbies or things that you like to spend your time on? Um, I like, um, I like fishing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Catching like what, what kind of fish, you know? Bass, salmon. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Are you uh, like filleting them, cooking them up? Stuff Not like me, that? but my grandparents. Okay. For sure. So you catch them and bring them home, and yeah. they'll cook them up. Yeah. Right, nice. How long have you been fishing? I would say since like elementary school. Alright. Yeah. So like your whole life. Yeah, life. basically. <laughs> um, any fish that like you'd love to catch? I definitely want to go like deep sea fishing. I haven't done that yet.
few more questions. Uh, but if you had like four words to describe yourself, like what would those four words be and why? Um, I'm a thinker because I, I, I think I always think before I do something. Um, I don't really approach a situation where I just go into it. I think I think before I, what I do. Um, I'm a competitor. I'm always looking, finding ways to compete at something, whatever it is, even if it's not basketball. Um, and I think I'm a winner. I think I've won at every level I've been on. So that was that's good for me. And I think um, I'm a hard worker. I stay in the gym. No matter what it is, even if it's school, I'm studying. Um, so I think I'm a hard worker. Awesome, man. Well, we'll wrap it up with that, but you know, really appreciate the time. Thank you.